every different generation of Pokemon, we're bound to get a ton of new Pokemon species. Although there are over 700 Pokemon announced, and more around the corner with Pokemon Sun and Moon, we don't actually have a Pokemon for every single type of animal. Many really cool and exotic animals are yet to be featured as Pokemon even to this day. My name is the Beast Pokeballer, and today I bring you the top 10 animals that need Pokemon versions in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. But counting off 10 new and crazy animals all by myself isn't an easy task, so today I will be joined by the one, the only, the amazing- Shut the hell up Luke, we all know who I am. Now, I'm not allowed on the internet, but my name is Powder, and I'm gonna go ahead and help Luke out count down the top 10 Pokemon. And before we start guys, we must warn you that this is all based off of our opinions. Yeah, so if you want a cool Pokemon based off of an animal that isn't on this list, no need to dislike or send any hate. Just go ahead and tell us your own opinion in the comment section below. Looks like we've been wasting your time for long enough, so let's roll! I don't understand how we've had six generations of new Pokemon, and water is also the most common type and we still somehow don't have a Pokemon based off of a dolphin. We all love dolphins, don't we? Like, they're super smart animals and humans can easily interact with them. They are just super friendly and not to mention pretty cute too. A dolphin Pokemon would easily fit in with all the other Pokemon and that's why it's number 10. Doesn't everyone love Florida? It's one of the best vacation states in the US. Nice beaches, warm weather, and of course, flamingos. We still don't have a flamingo Pokemon, and that kind of blows my mind. Flamingos are some of the coolest looking birds out there, and seeing one have a Mega would be insane. From the little info that we know, Pokemon Sun and Moon seem to be based off of Hawaii or some sort of tropical setting, so a flamingo would fit right in. It could easily be the early game bird Pokemon that you find on some of the first routes, and be a nice flying water Pokemon to help out on your team. So, back in Pokemon X and Y, we were able to ride a Skiddo and a Go-Goat. That was cool and all, but wouldn't it be cool if we could have some of our own Pokemon to ride throughout the entire game? And what better animal to fit this role than a Donkey or Ass Pokemon? <laughs> ass. Shut up, Powder. No one asked you. Anyways, Donkeys are known to be very helpful with traveling, and literally all you do in Pokemon games is, well, travel. It would be a really cool Pokemon to see in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Koalas are actually the most chill animals ever. They just sit around all day eating the eucalyptus leaves without a care in the world. But imagine a koala as a Pokemon. It would be amazing. I could definitely see it being a grass type, which also makes it a potential starter Pokemon in Sun and Moon. What comes to mind is like a koala Pokemon with some sort of stick that it uses to beat the crap out of its enemies. That would be awesome. Alright, so this next one is a little bit more of a mythical animal than an actual animal, but regardless, it still needs a Pokemon to represent it. For the number 6 spot, we have a Pegasus. Although not a real animal, it would be really cool to see it in the Pokemon world. It could be the first non-legendary pure flying type. It would be super cool, and have moves revolving around its horns such as Fury Attack, Horn Attack, Mega Horn, and maybe even a new signature move to blow the competition away. So here we are halfway down the list and things are about to get intense. Coming in at the number 5 spot we have a mosquito pokemon. This pokemon could be like the Zubat of a swamp area where they pop up on and on and on and make it stop. <sighs> Excuse me, I just, I just, I hate mosquitoes, but anywho. I think that a bug poison typing would fit these little buggers just fine. Looks like we're gonna need a bug spray item too. We are more than likely to get some sort of new fossil Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon. We have Tyrantrum to represent a T-Rex, and we have Aurorus to represent that long neck thingy. But what if we had a Triceratops Pokemon? I think that this would be a super cool idea, being a Rock Steel type. It could get cool moves such as Head Smash that would blow away the competition. Let's be honest here guys, no matter if you're 4 years old like me, or 50 years old like Powder, we all have a soft spot for loving dinosaurs somewhere deep in our heart. Final three, here we go baby. At the number three spot, we have a really funny looking little guy. Yes, 
We already have Octillery to represent the octopus species, but I want to dive a little bit deeper for this one. This is why we need a Dumbo octopus as a Pokemon. This thing is actually the funniest looking thing I have ever seen. And for it to be imagined into a Pokemon for battling other creatures, that would actually be very funny. This thing looks so harmless and small, and it looks like that one thing from Finding Nemo. Make it happen, Game Freak. Make it happen. Damn, already up to the last two animals on the list. Wow, that went by quick. Well, the number two spot is another water type Pokemon, this time being a Narwhal. These unicorns of the sea would make a great Pokemon, and there are many different potential typings. We have pure water, water fighting, water steel, water ice, and maybe even water electric, where the horn is some sort of electric rod. The possibilities go on and on. These majestical creatures are so popular among us internet nerds, and seeing them in a Pokemon version would just be awesome. Luke, you want me to do number one all by myself? Se seems a little daunting, don't you think? Fair enough, fair enough. I'll help you out then. Sweet, so the number one spot belongs to an animal that not all of you may know. They are little furry rodents that are probably the most adorable thing you will ever see. And of course, we're talking about the capybara. Capybaras are one of my all-time favorite animals and would fit in as Pokemon perfectly. Each generation, we are granted with a new normal type rodent that we find super early on, like Rattata or Zigzagoon, and a capybara would fit perfectly in. And while probably not being the best Pokemon ever, it will be a very, very cool Pokemon to snatch up early game. And there we have it, guys. Remember, if there was an animal that you want on the list that didn't make it, please tell us in the comment section. Exactly, and don't forget to check out Powder's new video too by clicking the annotation on the screen. Thanks, Luke. My video is about five mistakes that all Pokemon Masters have made, and it is featuring a familiar friend. Yeah, ha. Huh. Just, why do I call you a friend? Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Remember to smash that like button, and don't forget to sub to me and Powder if you haven't already. And guys... Let the outro- Wait, Luke, let me do your- let me do your dumbass outro. Alright, let's see what you can do. Let the outro roll! Seven one seven podcast.